Wondering if you should invest in resistance bands? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the different types so you know what's best for you. Welcome back ladies, hi I'm Tabitha. If you haven't met me before, I'm here to help all you busy ladies juggling jobs, careers, and kiddos with no real time to exercise. I'm gonna give you exercise tips, tricks, routines, and even product reviews to help make exercise a part of your life. And today we're talking about resistance bands, specifically loop bands. So I have some super long loop bands here, and I have some short mini loop bands here. And we're gonna talk to you about the different types of loop bands and why they're beneficial and hopefully how it can bring exercise into your life. So you can call me the crazy band lady if you want. I mean, I've got bands for days. Bands, bands. These are packs of bands that haven't been used. And you say, oh my gosh, you're so crazy. Why do you have so many? Well, I teach classes with bands. I absolutely love bands. There are a few products that I swear by, I love, and bands are one of them. Bands, a stability ball, a Bosu Liebert bars, and this bench are probably my top loving products. And as you heard, dumbbells aren't even a part of it, or kettlebells, because you don't actually need those things. But they are amazing to have, and I do have some of those as well. But we're talking about bands today, and the reason bands are so great is because they are resistance. Your muscles are built based off of resistance. So even though when you curl a 20 pound dumbbell, you know you're curling 20 pounds and with a band, you might not know what weight you're curling, but you are putting resistance on the muscles, on the bone, and that is helping your muscles to grow and helping your bones to get stronger. Resistance bands are great because they are versatile, you can do so many things with these bands. If you think that you need a dumbbell to do a certain exercise, uh, you're probably mistaken because you could probably do e almost everything with a resistance band. Curls, you can do that with a resistance band. You can do all those things. You can work your triceps, everything. So, second reason I really love resistance bands is because they're light. They're very light, you can throw them in a bag. I take these traveling with me everywhere. If you were to see me on the street, somewhere, at a grocery store, and ask me if I had a resistance band on me, I probably do, because they're either in my purse, they're in my car, I have some in my bedroom, I have some in my living room, I have some lots in the garage, I have them everywhere. I mean, ultimately, these are peanuts. They, they're so cheap. You might buy a pack of four for $10. I'll link some below. I buy mine from Perform Better. I've been buying mine from Perform Better for so many years before they became a hit. I, resistance bands were a part of my life. So I would say for the better part of probably seven years, I buy them in bulk, as you can see, because I give them to my clients. This is the first thing I do when a client comes on board with me, I actually give them a resistance band because they are that incredible. I think that they're worth sharing the love. If these break, they last a long time. I've had these for probably a couple, three years. It has my name on it, so. I've had at least two years, and I teach classes with them, so they've gone through a lot, a lot of classes. And for the amount you pay for this, it's totally worth it because they're very cheap to replace, and they're not near the cost of a dumbbell. A hexagon dumbbell costs about a dollar per pound, the hexagon that has no rubber on it. The ones with rubber on the ends and metal bar, that's about a dollar fifty a pound. And then the ones that are covered in the coating and neoprene, that's about $2 a pound when you can get this for a couple bucks. So totally worth it, totally interchangeable. You can do incredible hit exercises with this. You can do so much. Actually, in the comments down below, I will link you guys a free workout plan that has a lot of different workouts that you can do with these resistance bands. I know the time is rough right now with this pandemic going on. Everybody's struggling to get workout equipment because gyms are closed. But there are a lot of resistance bands available online and I'm telling you, if you can't buy anything and you don't know what to buy and you wanna just get a good workout, some resistance bands will do the trick. You will not regret the purchase. I wanna to talk to you about the different types of resistance bands. So we're talking about just loop bands here. I've got the really long loop bands that you can do a lot of great workouts with. These come in different thicknesses. 
So the thicker the band is inch wise across is going to give you a different weight resistance. I cannot rattle off exactly what the weight resistance is for mine, but you can do a lot of different moves with these. I will post so I will post some workouts later on in a different video of what you can do with these big loop bands and some workouts down below of what you can do with the mini resistance bands. Now I primarily use these for pull-ups because I have dumbbells, but you can use these as dumbbells, curls, shoulder presses, side raises, all sorts of things. You can work your legs out with these as well. But my primary reason I use these are to help train my pull-ups, okay? But there are many, many, many other reasons and ways you can use these bands. Now, talking about the mini loop bands, there's a lot of different fancy brands that have come up today. Now there's the ones that are like fabric. I have not tried those. I don't even care to. I'm tried and true. I love these other ones. Some people do complain about these rolling up on their legs. Wear some good pants. Get your technique down. They will roll, but you can learn how to not make them roll. The biggest key takeaway about these mini loop bands is that there are a couple different sizes. Okay, I recommend getting both sizes if you can afford it. I have more small ones than I have big ones. This one is a nine inch loop band, nine inches. So from here to here, it's nine inches long. And the one next to it is a 12 inch loop band. Here to here, 12 inches long. They are about two inches thick. Now the reason I recommend both of these, if you are not a small person or you're got some good size on your thighs, you are going to want the bigger band. This one will cut into your thighs a little too much that it might hurt. It also will roll. So I don't recommend the small one if you've got thighs on you. Big one, better for people. You can fit, you can fit um, bigger legs in here, essentially, and not hurt. They should not hurt when you use them, okay? So if you got bigger thighs and you're using this one, it's cutting you off your circulation, stop. Don't use that, use the bigger one. So go get a 12 inch one, all right? Secondly, I actually do use the mini loop one on my legs. I love using it right above my knees and on my ankles. It gives you more resistance for the smaller one. But when I'm working upper body, I like the longer one because your arms, there's a lot of distance between your arms when you are doing a curl. So this one is a heavy one. Ooh. So there's a lot of uh, distance between your arms when you're doing a curl. The smaller one is just too heavy, too much resistance for me, so I can't get my curl done properly. Now, if you're a guy and you're looking at buying some of these, then the mini one is probably great for you to be able to do a curl or other moves for your upper body. But I like my 12 inch one for upper body exercises. So the next thing that you have to do know about the mini bands is that there are a few different weights. Every brand that you buy, there are gonna be multiple different weights in them. Here we go. Okay, these are the ones I buy from Perform Better. Now you don't have to buy Perform Better brand. There are so many other brands out there. There's some cute ones that are pink. I wish I had pink ones, but when I would buy all of these, there were no pink ones on Amazon, okay? Now everybody's into like the mini band craze because they realize it's great for your butt. I've been telling people for years that these are, these are where it's at. So now people know, but that's good. Um, but there are four different colors and there usually are four different colors, okay? So lightweight, very easy resistance, okay? Super easy, look at that, I can just pull. This is great for those deltoids or if you're really new to working out with your bands. Then I've got green, which is light. And ooh, let's try to do that same pull. Not as good, but more resistance here. So deltoids. Yep, that's all I'm getting. <laughs> then there's heavy or medium, I think it's called. More resistance, really good. Let's see, deltoids. Yep, that's about all you're getting out of me. And then there's heavy, right? This one is the one I like to use on my legs. <clears throat> yep, heavy. And then deltoids, Oi. let's see. No, not getting anything out of me. That's about it, just a little pulse. <laughs> but you will always have a pack with several different resistances in it, which is a great thing because you might think, ah, 
up. What am I going to do with the light one? I want to grow a butt. How is the light one going to help my butt? It'll help those nice shoulders. That's what this light one will help. So it's really good to have. Also, um, as you get stronger, because you will get strong really fast if you're using these and you start at like a green, so your light resistance, you will immediately see the progress as you start using it. Your body is so amazing, so you will progress really fast through this. Also, if you've already been on the block and you're like, oh my gosh, I need more resistance, just add another band. Just add another one as you need it. Guess what? Now you've got a whole pile of resistance and there's no way I could do anything with all these bands all at once. So bands, yep, yep, bands are incredible. Yeah, they are amazing. So I really love my resistance bands. If you don't already have some and you are in the market right now looking for something to work out with at home, these, you will not regret buying these, I swear. These are probably, like I said, my favorite product. Second favorite is the Stability Ball, and Stability Balls are peanuts. You don't need to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get a good workout. This right here, my friends, ladies, $10. That's all you need. 10 wonderful dollars and some amazing resistance bands. Like and like I said before, I will post down below a mini resistance band workout plan so you can download it and you can do those workouts. They are incredible. I have some already on my YouTube channel and I will be making more because this is one of my favorite products. As for these long bands, incredible as well. I will post some workouts with these later. If this is in the future and I already have workouts, those will also be down below. But at this current moment, I don't have any workouts with these yet, but I will get you guys some so that you can see how to use these as well. So if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. I'm here to help you. If you wanna know anything else about these bands, Put it down in the comments below. But as always, I hope that was helpful. Stay positive, work hard, and God bless. Mahalo for joining me. Aloha.